there are two types of Amazon Alexa users. The first, asking questions to get answers like this one. Eleanor Roosevelt said, the purpose of life is to live it, to taste experience to the utmost, to reach out eagerly and without fear, for newer and richer experience. And the second, well this. Ta -ta, ta -ta. Trick or treat. Ta -ta, ta -ta. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Smell my feet. Smell my feet. Give me something. Give me feet. Give me something. Give me something. Give me something. Give me something. Give me something good to eat. You can be any of those. We won't judge. But in this video, we will show you how you can build your own Amazon Alexa assistant using the Raspberry Pi. Let's get started. To build your personal assistant, you will need a Raspberry Pi with Raspberry Pi OS preloaded, a USB microphone, speakers, and basic computer peripherals. We will firstly need to configure Alexa for our Raspberry Pi on Amazon. To do that, visit the Amazon developer page via a browser, either on Windows or on the Raspberry Pi itself. Log in with your Amazon credentials. If you don't have one, sign up. It shouldn't take long. On this page, Head over to Alexa Voice Service under Alexa in the navigation bar. Next, head over to Manage your products on the next screen. Here, you will find all your registered Amazon Voice Service projects listed. Click on Add New Product. Fill out the details about the new Raspberry Pi Echo. Items that have a red asterisk besides are considered compulsory, so make sure you fill in those. Choose device with Alexa built-in under product type, select no for the companion app question and choose others as the product category. Enter Raspberry Pi as the device and fill in a show description to get going. For the remaining questions just select no and click on next. Click on create new profile on the following page to create a security profile. Enter a name for the profile and a description making sure you don't use any of the keywords listed on the left such as Alexa and Amazon etc etc. Click on next. Under platform information, select other devices and platforms and enter a client ID name of your choice. Then click on Generate ID to get a new ID for your new assistant. Now make sure you download this identification file and save it to a known location under the name config.json. Check the agreement box and click on Finish. Now that we have created a security profile, we need to enable it. Head over to the URL on screen. Select the newly created profile from the drop-down menu and click Confirm. You can fill in any URL you wish in this consent privacy window and then just hit Save. Now. Head over to the Raspberry Pi OS and open up Terminal. As usual, we will start by running the update and upgrade commands one after the other. Let's now download the installation and configuration scripts that we need using these three commands.
Now that we have everything ready, let's move the ID file we downloaded earlier under the name config.json to the home slash pi directory. This step is very important since Amazon will authenticate our device using this file. After the update, we need to make sure that curl is installed on our Raspberry Pi using the following command. Now it's time to install our cherished Alexa using the following command. To continue the installation, type in agree and then enter. This will take long. Actually, very very long, so hold in there. Once finished, install the additional requisites by running the following command. If you want to change the language on Alexa, this is what you need to do. Run the following command on the terminal. When the configuration file opens, use the shortcut Ctrl and W to search the file for device settings. To change the language, you need to change the default local language to your preferred one. Here are some languages that you may use. After you finish, press Ctrl and X then Y and Enter to save and exit. Now let's talk audio so that we can interact with our new assistant. Run this command to find out what speakers are connected to the Raspberry Pi. Take note of the card and device numbers of your chosen speaker. Secondly, run the following command to list all the available recording devices on the Raspberry Pi. Again, take note of the card and device numbers for your microphone. We will then input all those numbers in a sound configuration file called asoundrc which we can create using this command. Once open, paste the text available in the description in this file and change the microphone and speaker card and device numbers accordingly. Press Ctrl and X, then Y and Enter to save and exit. So far so good, we will now authorize and run Alexa. Make sure you are connected to the internet for this. Run the following command to fire up the authentication script. It will now attempt to authenticate the device in a loop. Scroll upwards in the terminal and find the authentication code. Once you get it, head over to the URL displayed on screen and paste it over there. Click on Next, choose your country of preference and then click on Next again. You should see Authorize on your terminal right after that. Your Alexa is now ready to be up and running. We will now make the assistant run automatically on boot so you can ask questions anytime you like. To do that, we will firstly run the following piece of command in terminal. Again, use Ctrl and W to search for the following line. Under the while loop, add in the following lines which you can find in the description below. Make sure you correct the spacing as shown in the video, otherwise you will get an error. Now press Ctrl and X then Y and Enter to save. Let's recompile everything using these following commands.
Now let's create the service file that will automatically start our assistant on Booter. Paste the text from the description in this file. Hit Ctrl and X, then Y and Enter to save and exit. Let's now enable this newly created service. And we can start using it using the following command. If you get no response from Alexa, you can check the running state of the service using the following command. And here we are. Our new assistant is now up and running. We can ask it some more questions like Alexa, what is the value of pi? The approximate value of pi is 3.14159265358979323846266. Phew! I ran out of breath. So, we've reached the end of our tutorial at this point. Let me know in the comments if you were able to complete this project or you encountered some difficulty. Like and share our videos and don't forget to subscribe if this helped you out. Until then, keep dialing pixels.